Hey everybody, day 57 of the vlog. Um, so today we had another workshop with Bending the Arc and the theme that the students had chosen for this week was uh, homelessness and poverty. And so um, I tried to reach out to a couple organizations, uh, but obviously as it gets colder out, um, their workload increases as they try to help as many people as they can stay warm and stay sheltered during the cold months. So we weren't able to actually get any community organizations out to talk to the Benning Arc students. So I kind of just tried to put something together to, to have conversations with students and to talk about the magnitude and complexity of these issues um, around homelessness. And uh, I think related to the video of yesterday um, that it, it's really about establishing personal connections and talking to people because it's really easy, I think, to fall into this this abstract thinking of looking at a group and looking like homeless individuals and, and very easily dismissing them or uh, making assumptions about why they're the, in their situation they're in and um, what they could do to make a difference in their own lives and so why we shouldn't get involved. And I think that's really easy. But when you hear stories and you talk to individuals that are in that situation, uh, we actually had a student who shared with his small group about being um, in a kind of like a halfway house, a shelter, uh, which was really profound um, to to hear that that was shared in in the uh, in a group setting like that. And so you know you can't you, whenever you're talking about the these issues because right now in Seattle, obviously there's um, a lot of issues going on. There's the sweeps of encampments. Uh, where they're removing people from their, you know, place that they're staying, where all their possessions are, and getting forced out um, without any place to go. And you know, I, I've heard the rationale behind why these sweeps are necessary for public safety and sanitation. And Seattle's cleared out nine million pounds of trash and human waste from these sites, and you know, all these different stuff. But like, without actually providing a alternative, a place to go. For these individuals, it's it's inhumane and it's heartless to just force people out um, of the only place that they can call home um, to be able to do that. And there's lots of really troublesome things that are being done across our country, whether that's putting spikes in under overpasses or putting those third arm benches in so people can't lay on the benches. And um, you know, we can we can talk all day about public safety and public nuisance and you know what the potential is, but when it boils down to it, they're rather inhumane ways of dealing with this issue rather than doing it completely. So I was really encouraged. I did some research in Utah and what they were doing um, in Salt Lake City around homelessness. I realized that they, you know, they kind of had their own, I think, George W. Bush moment where mission accomplished uh, prematurely. And some magazines were saying that Salt Lake City had ended or you know, solved the problem of homelessness. And I think they did a lot, but there's still a lot of issues going on even right now in Salt Lake with homeless populations. But they did make a big dent. They reduced it by 75%. And so we talked about as a class, like you know, as a group with Bending the Arc about this idea of providing housing first without stipulations um, for people. And that's the first step, right? It's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You take care of the basic needs first. You don't say that people have to get sober and how they're dealing with their situations. You, you have to provide security and safety uh, and shelter for them before they can do that. Uh, the kids, you know, got to talking about what they can do besides, you know, they, they got some great resources um, from organizations around King County on how to advocate for um, humane ways of, of helping uh, those that are find themselves homeless. And then they also, but they also talked about you know, not just advocating or voting when they are able to, to look at certain policies, but actually how do you, how do you interact with people now? How do you, how do you share their humanity? How do you look them in the eye? How do you have a conversation in order to acknowledge them and acknowledge their existence and that they matter? Um, and they also talked about possibly putting together some, uh, some care packages to just have on you to be able to give to people. Uh, the young women in our group were very aware of the need for feminine products for homeless people and, you know, talked about what that must be like to deal with uh, menstruating when you're homeless without any access to care products. And so um, very powerful meeting, always extremely encouraged by Bending the Arc students um, in their heart for change and what, what they want to see in their world. And it gives me hope that, um, you know, we're in good hands in the future if, if these 
students become the leaders of tomorrow, of today. Um, and that excites me. So, all right. We'll see you next time.